the main link between Mombasa and the south coast. Congestion at the ferry has led to loss in many business hours and opportunities. This is however set to change by March 2024, once construction of phase 2 and 3 of this 19 km dual carriageway running from Mwache to Kibundani in the south coast is complete. The 11 km phase 1 of the road, famously known as the Dongokundu Bypass, running from Ritin in Mombasa County to the new Kipevu container terminal, was completed in 2018. The ongoing construction of the two phases involved putting up of an interchange at the Likoni Lungalunga Highway and installation of three overseas bridges, which are the 660 meters long Mwache Bridge, Tsunza Bridge, which is 690 meters long, and the Mteza Bridge, which is 1,440 meters and will be the longest overseas bridge in Kenya. The road is opening this community before then. This area, like Sunsa, was almost uh, landlocked. From Sunsa area to go to Mazeras would be a day's long journey. But now it's only right now from even the far we have done, people are taking 30 minutes. This is in the sea, the seaside. The marine engineering is a very complex, uh, but at the same time requires uh, a lot of care in many, many aspects that you're looking at. For instance, if you look at the pile works that goes, the engineer will tell you that you've got to go down, sometimes uh, about 40 meters, for you to be able to reach the strong ground, for you to construct it. Um, now, to be able to look at uh, even the corrosion, the, the steel that is being used here, it's not, um, it's not the steel that you'll be able to apply if you were to use it in, uh, in upcountry. When completed, the bypass will connect Mombasa mainland west to Mombasa mainland south without entering Mombasa Island through the Likoni Crossing Channel. The road connects the west mainland to south coast through Sunsa, that is in Kwara area. So this road is going to open all the inter and here and also connect the Mombasa together with the Kwara and to be able to ease the traffic congestion through the Likon, which is a big bottleneck and make a good access to the south coast and to Tanzania. Construction of the road that is now 54% complete has seen the clearing of up to 14 and a half acres of mangrove forest and compensation of affected locals. We are to disturb part of the mangrove, that ecosystem. We have cleared about 14 and a half hectares of mangrove, but we have replanted in total 85 hectares of mangrove. All the people who are along the corridor here who are disturbed have been compensated. Kenya is funding 20% of the project, while 80% is being funded by Japan International Cooperation Agency through concessional loans and grants. This is what we call the Yen Loan Project. It's concessional loan. Um, there was phase one which was uh, about 47 billion shillings. And then there was uh, phase two which is um, 12 billion shillings. And uh, when we talk about the concession loan, we are talking about um, the tenor, let's say the, how long the repayment is around 30 years of repayment and uh, with uh, like a 12 uh, year uh, grace period. The government is further expected to undertake construction of a 1.4 kilometers Mombasa gateway bridge beginning this year at a cost of 85 billion shillings which is set to connect Mombasa Island with the south coast, replacing the ferry services that are prone to perennial breakdowns, delaying traffic flow to and for Mombasa. Letina Lemayan, K24 TV.